Justin Trudeau has to rue the day he ever decided to fiddle with his carbon tax. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Back in July, the carbon tax was not a big issue for most Canadians. They weren't thinking about it. The Trudeau government had posed it. People had complained. Government didn't listen. So it was just in the background. What changed on July 1st? Well, the carbon tax got applied to Atlantic Canada in the way it hadn't before. But they were at a much lower rate, but on July 1st, that changed. All of a sudden, people noticed spiking gas prices of 14 cents. Winter was coming. They were worried about heating their homes because this is a region with a lot of people who use home heating oil. What does Trudeau do? Holds his rushed news conference on October 26th to say he's going to do a, a special carve out. Now, he claims it's national, but really it's about Atlantic Canada. Almost 50% of people in PEI heat with home heating oil. In Nova Scotia, it's about a third. It's about uh, 20 to 25% in Newfoundland and Labrador. So this was about Atlantic Canada, where Trudeau has held sway. He's had this red wall, but he was losing support there. So he did this. What has he got now? He's got two things on the go. New poll out from Abacus Data, done for the liberal-friendly Toronto Star, shows that 72% of Canadians want that same exemption applied to whatever heating uh, fuel they use, natural gas, propane, what have you. Take the carbon tax off. Should be fair for everyone. You've got five premiers writing to the prime minister about this. Trudeau saying, no, no more special exemptions. But wait, there's more. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev has just launched a campaign for Bill C-234. This is a bill that nobody paid much attention to back in March when it passed the House of Commons. It's now before the Senate and has a good chance of passing there. What would it do? It would take the um, carbon tax off of specific farm machinery and fuels, including uh, gas for tractors and combines. It would take it off natural gas for uh, grain dryers and things like that. This would be another big carve out. Why is this a problem for Trudeau? His environment minister, Stephen Guibault, said as long as he is environment minister, there will be no more exemptions to the carbon tax. You could almost hear the glee in Pierre Polyev's voice as he talked about that while launching his campaign. Trudeau thought that adjusting his carbon tax for Atlantic Canada would help save him votes. The latest polls from even a, a, a polling firm hired by the liberal-friendly Toronto Star shows that ain't the case. It ain't happening. Justin Trudeau must be really kicking himself in the butt for ever messing with his now much hated tax. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below, share this on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.